There you go. Awesome. So, uh, for those who don't know me, I'm Jacob. Uh, I'm a comedian. Uh, sure you are. I've been a comedian for about 10 seconds, so here we go. Uh, this is this is my first open mic. Um, so you know, I feel like I feel like I should like get to know you guys a little bit. You know, whenever you're trying to get to know someone, uh, you might ask them, well, tell me about yourself, right? Uh, and if you come across someone who has no ability to formulate a sentence, they might say, well, you know, I'm, I'm pretty boring, you know, I'm a boring person. In my experience, that has not been, uh, in my experience, that has not been the case. Uh, just go with me here. We're all brothers and sisters in God's eyes, right? So anyone who's ever had sex is at least a little kinky. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's, uh, you got you got something in there. I know you do. I was talking to my uh, I was talking to my friend the other day, and she tells me that. She forgot to take her birth control pill one day, and uh, the next day she remembered it. So she uh, she decided that you know oh, it would be a good idea to to take two pills on that day. She thought that that would be a good idea, you know, a good way to catch herself up. I said so. That's why you had all those threesomes in college. <laughs> 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 I'm a pretty normal guy. I I watch uh, watch TV. I was watching Sports Center the other day with my buddy, and um, Paul George was traded from the Oklahoma City Thunder to the Los Angeles Clippers. Now, for those in here who may not know who Paul George is or what the words that I just said mean, that's okay <laughs> because all you need to know is that Paul George is a NBA basketball player, and um, often in sports, athletes get traded from one sports team to another. So my buddy, he looks at me, he says, dude, imagine if uh, regular people got traded from their nine to five day jobs to other nine to five day jobs, the way that athletes get traded from sports team to sports team. And I stopped, and I got real serious. I looked him dead in the eye. And I said, You do realize we fought an entire war over that, right? <laughs> you, you cannot do that. You, you cannot trade people. <laughs> that is a big no-no. Athletes are different. Can't trade regular people. Athletes can jump out of the roof. I sprained my thumb trying to get out of bed. There. <laughs> I, uh... I drive a Honda Accord. It's mean. It's vicious. Ooh. It's got a, a safety feature that uh, it reads out text messages to you while you're driving so that over the car speakers so that you can keep your eyes on what's most important. And of course that's the left tibia of the kid running across the road. <laughs> it's a, it's a, a love-hate that I have with that safety feature, though, because, uh, you know, it, it reads these text messages throughout the car speakers. So, uh, now everybody in here knows that my mom calls me a fruit cup watermelon head. <laughs> so, Sorry. Thanks, mother. She hasn't done that in many years. It's okay. Sure. 
Uh, I ran into uh, I ran into my ex girlfriend from high school the other day walking down the street. And by ran into, I mean I DM'd her on Instagram while walking down the street. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, you ever think about those relationships that you had back in high school though? How how easy they were. You didn't have to worry about you know commitment your future, whether or not you're going to stick around for the pregnancy, <laughs> just, uh, just let it go, you know, <laughs> I got to go to school, <laughs> got, got history class, You ever think about? Uh, you ever think about if you could like? It's morbid now. If you could like kill someone. Like if you could train yourself to do it. If you had to in a self-defense type of situation. If if you could even do it. Uh, well, and then if you could live with yourself back. I really, I really think that I could do it. Uh, and I'll tell you why. Uh, the amount of rage that overtakes my body when someone tries to steal one of my french fries uh, <laughs> is, it's sick. It is, it is sick. Imagine, uh, imagine someone killing someone for over trying to eat one of their french fries. It's like, you know? <laughs> well, Your Honor, I'll tell you what happened. I'll tell you, we were at a Arby's, and I had ordered a large fry, because I was feeling particularly hungry this uh, day. It's curly fry, you see. We were sitting there, and it was at that moment, across the table, hand reached over and grabbed one of my fries. And I just knew that that I had to do what was necessary. I couldn't I couldn't let somebody do that to anybody else in this world. So I ended it. I ended it forever. And I, I don't regret it. Judge would sit there and pause for a second. Was this a extra curly fry, or was this just one of those regular fries <laughs> dressed up as a curly fry? <laughs> Couldn't have been more curlier, sir. <laughs> oh, I get it. I get it. You're, you're free to go. <laughs> It was self-defense. It was really. Uh, anyway, that's all I got. Uh, so thanks for uh, coming out, friends, and more friends. I uh, appreciate it. So I'm Jacob Ennis. Follow me on Instagram. And uh, I don't have my Instagram handle on me right now. But just follow me. You'll look. I'm there.